Good morning, Facebook. Hey, it's Jerry coming to you from Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in beautiful, sunny Costa Rica, Guanacaste, Costa Rica. I'll let traffic build here for a second. We're a life advancement center that specializes in using sacred plant medicines along with metaphysical teachings. Um, this place has impacted me greatly. Um, uh, I had been a business guy, a, a pretty fairly successful uh, business guy, um, you know, made a lot of money time and time again and was extremely unhappy with my life. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with my life. And so uh, one thing led to another and I, I, I did this plant medicine program and it just changed everything. It changed everything. And uh, it's five years ago this July and my life is completely, completely, completely different than it was. And when I say completely, it's a night and day change. What does plant medicine do? So I was thinking about what to talk about today. Uh, and and uh, unfortunately, we had an event here at Rhythmia with uh, two of our employees that their grandmother uh, just passed this morning. And these people are my family, and it impacted me in a, in a hey guys, hey Laura, hey Susan. It impacted me in a, in a really big way. And, and I just want to talk about, uh, about something that, that has to do with that and, and, and has to do with real truth. So the, the thing that we believe that happens to people, and we believe this because we're shown it on plant medicine, is that people split from their souls. Uh -huh. when Between their, the time they're conceived and about five years old, they have this split. And then uh, that split is the source of all disease, addiction, disorder, sadness, and we really believe it. And, and I get to see it every week because uh, we've healed over 4,000 people uh, since we started this place. So it's, we have a real basis for understanding, you know, for understanding what's what with everything. And then we have a basis and we keep data on it. So this is something that I'm actively looking at. Uh -huh. And, and it, it got to think the plant medicine wants to be in truth. So it, it merges us because the truth is we're whole, we're perfect, we're eternal. That is the truth. Uh -huh. That's the, the whole perfect eternal is the astral truth. The earth truth is something completely different that I experienced again this morning. And here's the truth, and, and you may or may not like this, but when you get to this truth, it adds value and beauty to the whole thing. It makes it so worth living, yeah? So worth living. So what, what is the truth? Well, just like the girls that lost their grandmother today, in life, everything that you know and love is going to be taken from you. Every single thing that you know and love is going to be taken from you. Your friends, your family, your beauty, your health, your wealth will all be taken away because you die. Uh -huh. And if you live long enough, most of that precedes you. You get to see other people leaving you before then. If you're more than 10 years old, You've probably already experienced a great loss in your life. You probably have. If you're 50, you've experienced a lot of them. If you're 80, you've experienced a ton of them. This is the, stat, this is the constant state of life that's change and loss. It is loss. So how is that supposed to make me happy? It, it does. Because here's what. Once you are aware that that is an absolute irrevocable fact of your life that you're going to lose every single thing that you have that makes every uh, every scene your altar and every second sacred whoa so that makes every scene your altar and every second sacred and and and, and once you get to that point where everything is a blessing, everything is sacred. You know, and it's hard to remember that when, when the, the dog just ate your school paper. It's hard to remember that. But that dog eating that school paper is a, that second you will never, ever, ever, ever have again. You won't have it again. So instead of trying to, to buck the system somehow, so I drink enough alcohol that I don't have to worry about losing everything, or I, I have enough sex that I don't, that I don't uh, think about 
the, 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 the temporary state of my being on this earth. Uh -huh. Or I can make enough money to somehow beat the system and live forever. Ain't gonna happen. But what you can do is you can bring joy to every second by realizing that this second is a fucking gift. Uh -huh. That this second, no matter what the fuck is happening, is a fucking gift. Wow. Uh -huh. so, so it's really hard for me when I was looking into those girls' eyes and to see the pain and want to come in there and fix everything. Yeah? Fix the unfixable. Uh, that, 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 that the universe took them and, 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 and repositioned them in a new way. Uh huh. Can't do it. Right? But what I can do, and this is what's so crazy with, with, with the more you do this work, is that in that second, I realized that I was watching something that I'm not going to see again. And I embraced it. And I love those kids. And, and, and the thing is, is this is the thing of you. So this is the, do you want to get this whole fucking thing? You want to get woke, as they say? Just realize, fuck, fuck reading about uh, different levels of spirituality, different wormholes, di different this. Just realize that, that everything you're seeing is going to be taken from you. And therefore, everything is your altar. And, and everything, every second is sacred. Just get to that point and boom. You don't need nothing else. Huh? You don't need anything else. You get to that. Is a, people say, is there, is there such a thing as a silver bullet? Fuck yeah, here it is. Realize that all of this is going to be taken from you. And therefore, every second of it is sacred. Every second of it is your, your altar. Every scene that you see is your altar. And every second is sacred. Uh huh. And then when you feel that, you're no longer doing your being. When you can feel that, you're being, not doing, you're being. And as that being, there's joy. As, that, as you're being, there's that joy. As you're being, there's that joy. And, and beauty, in the most fucked up things, there's that joy and beauty. You get fired and, and somewhere in it, there's sweetness. And, 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 and something bad happens and somewhere in it, there's sweetness. When those girls told me that today, I just thought what a great woman the grandmother was to generate so much love. Huh? How beautiful. Uh-huh. How beautiful. How beautiful. You know, how beautiful. How beautiful. And this is the thing. Instead of trying to get this and trying to get that, what, what's the result of being merged with your soul? is fucking being able to be that. Being able to say, this is my second. It looks fucked up. I lost some money. What's that happened? This woman left me. Uh, the, the guy I was sleeping with slept with my friend. Whatever the fuck it is. It's sacred. It's not coming back. And, and there's, there's beauty in it when you're connected. When you feel like you're being thrown up on the rocks by everything, whole different deal uh -huh. because then you're not seeing the beauty you're trying to hang on to something that you don't even have that's temporary at best instead of just being in it and saying holy god uh -huh. i lived to see this i lived i lived to see the sorrow in those those girls eyes i did i lived in I, I, and, and in that second i saw all of the beauty of the relationship yeah, between that grandmother and those kids. Huh. All of the beauty of it. That's the altar. That is the altar. Uh huh. That's the altar. And this that second is the is, is sacred. Yeah. So if we can just bring this in to, to our lives, you don't need you don't need a the a, a, a thirty eighth degree whatever, whatever. Uh huh. You know, like you don't need. I have to tell you the truth. Most people need to drink some medicine to see the truth and then to, to come right back to, to terra firma and say, okay, I'm going to make my life my church. I'm going to make this museum the museum of my soul, that this is it. I get to collect all this. And, and when I say collect all this, I, I don't mean cars and jets and, and shit like that. How, I don't mean that. I mean collect all of this. 
and what by what do I mean by this? These relationships, uh huh. These connections with with the people next to you. These these like well, my CFO is here this year, and we just celebrated 20 years together. I celebrated. He was probably like mourning it, you know. But fuck, that's a guy I know for 20. I'm gonna know him till I die. Uh huh. I'm celebrating that. I'm celebrating that. I'm celebrating this second. I'm celebrating the fact that I have the ability to talk to you in a tender moment for myself and, 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 and swish around some of this energy of truth, of true truth, not, not, not selling, not coming in, not wanting more, but of truth, of I don't care if the market's up or down today. Uh -huh. I don't care if you're winning or losing. Uh -huh. To sit in the moment of it and know it's not coming back. Fuck. Jesus, please, get if you're going to get something, get this one thing. Get this one thing. And it's something that there's not a person on the face of the earth that could argue with it. Because I'm not telling you good shit's going to happen. Uh -huh. I'm just telling you to enjoy what the hell is happening. What is happening uh -huh. What's happening? Uh -huh. and, and the whole, the whole of it. You're, you're a miracle in a movie, and you get to experience this shit. Ah, by all means, click into it. Click into it. And I'm gonna tell you something. Come and see us. Do it with us. Do it with us. Uh huh. Get to see you. I want to. I couldn't have done this. I couldn't. I would have never thought this way without plant medicine. Because my idea was, how can I hang on to everything with dear life? Every fucking penny, every, every sexual conquest, every jet, every car, every Ferrari, every house. How can, I, how, can I, how can I hang on to my kids? How can I hang on to my wife? How can I hang, and I don't mean hang on gently, control, how can I do this? I would have never seen it, uh -huh. but I got lucky. I got lucky, I almost killed myself, I got lucky. It got so bad I couldn't go on. I got lucky. I got lucky. And this luck just keeps giving gifts. It keeps giving gifts. And what is the luck? I realized that this whole thing is a gift. The whole thing. The whole thing. Uh -huh. And what made that happen? Plant medicine. I couldn't do it any other way. I was trying to do it all different ways. Uh huh. Like I was trying to do it all different ways. And I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So, so we built a place where this happens to everybody. I'm gonna say something. Last week, Dr. Mercola was here. He's a, he's a wonderful cat too. He's a good guy and a friend. And we had a full house. And this week, I think we're down to 70 people. I think, I have to double check that. Uh-huh. Uh, which is a slow week for us now. And it's beautiful. And everybody's having the same thing. You know what? Nobody ever leaves here after having this experience and says, I want to go get a bigger jet. It's not what the fuck they say. They look at everything and go, wow, this is mine. This relationship is mine. Uh huh. This is my altar. And this second is sacred. Fuck, man. This is it. This is it. So if you want a taste of this, if you want, if, if you're hearing the words, but it's not, you're not feeling it, that's because there's some gap in alignment. Uh huh. There's some gap in alignment because when you're aligned and you hear this, it resonates with a part of you where you just say, fuck, uh-huh, what the fuck? This is it. I don't need anything else, uh-huh. Yeah, so I want you to come and see me and I want you to, to today, just do me a favor. Look at your boss, look at your wife, look at your dog, uh-huh. Look at your kids. Look at a picture of the people who are still alive in your life who haven't been ripped from you. Uh -huh. And be so fucking grateful. Be incredibly grateful. Because uh -huh. this miracle of this life is happening today for all of us. Every second. Just be in that. Just be in that. Just be in that. Uh -huh. Jeanette, you'll come and see us. Jenny, you'll come and see us. You'll all come and see us. Because uh -huh. if you're listening to this, it's pulling you. Uh -huh. You're listening to it because there's this orchestra of 55 layers of, of, 
of, of existence that are going on and it's all, it's all working to get you to be looking at this today. Uh -huh. There's something in this. Hey Brody, we'll see you next week. Hi Laura, hi Lori, hi Marilyn. We will see you guys, come and see us. Here's the number. It's 866-936-9446. Why do I talk about this shit and, and want people to come back so much? You know why? Because I want to share this way of looking at shit. I want to share this way of looking at shit. This is the way. This is the way. Forget, you know, I love religions. You know, I was a Catholic for many years. I'm still a Christian in, in a certain sense. I love religions, but fuck all that. If you realize that this second is your altar, uh -huh, or this scene here is your altar, and this second is sacred, fuck! So in the height of it, when shit's getting crazy, if you just remember those two things, to look around, you know, when, and I swear to you, this is how a little bit Insight through the medicine and then practice of that mindfulness. When these employees, this one employee came to me and told me about her grandmother, I was devastated. But in that second, I just saw so much beauty and joy and, and just wonderful shit because they did their job. The granddaughters and the grandmother did their job together. They loved so much. They loved so much. Uh huh. So let's do our job. Let's 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 be the one that someone cries about. Let's put in the, the effort to be in the moment and realize this is our altar and that this is sacred. Uh huh. Please do me a favor if you're listening to this and you got something out of it, share it with your mother, share it with your grandmother, share it with your kids, share this thing because this is the real deal. This is it. I love you guys. Uh, I'm going to be short here today, uh, but I love you, and I want to see you here at Rhythmia. Please come to Rhythmia and, 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 and get a piece of this because it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless you. God hold you, and I will see you next week. God bless.